A long rope is lying on a smooth horizontal surface. The left end of the rope is set into oscillatory motion perpendicular to its length. The red particle going around the circular path has the same y coordinate as the left end of the rope. This particle's angular position defines the phase of the oscillation of the left end of the rope. If the end of the rope is oscillated, element after element of the rope begin vibrating and a wave shape travels along the rope. Half an oscillation in the pass to y direction causes a crest to travel along the rope. Half an oscillation in the negative y direction causes a trough to travel along the rope. If the end of the rope is vibrated continuously, wave after wave travel along the rope. Each element of the rope executes the same motion as the end of the rope, but with a time lag. At any given moment, different elements are at different positions, causing the rope to have a wave shape. As these oscillating elements move to new positions, the wave shape seems to travel along the rope. Imagine all the elements of the rope beginning to vibrate at the same time as when the left end is vibrated. All of them would be in the same positions related to their initial positions and the rope would always be straight. This would happen if the bonding between the neighboring elements is infinitely strong. So then we have here number of vibrating particles in different states of vibration at a given moment forming the wave shape. This shape moves along the rope as the vibrating particles change their positions with time. If the left end of the wave completes half an oscillation, the wave advances by half a wavelength. The phase of the particle at the left end has increased by pi and the phase of the particle about to vibrate can be assumed to be zero. Phase difference between these two particles which are lambda by two apart is pi. When the element at the left end completes one oscillation, the particle at the right end is just about to begin oscillating. Vibration produced at the left end has moved one wavelength in one time period along the rope. The elements at the left and right ends differ in phase by 2 pi. Phase decreases linearly with the distance decreasing by 2 pi in moving a distance lambda from the source. As the left end completes half an oscillation, the rope has the shape shown. Another half an oscillation later, the shape is moved by lambda by 2. At the earlier crest position, we now have a trough and the crest has advanced by lambda by 2 along the rope. Graph shows the oscillations at the left end of the rope. The equation for the oscillations is y is ym sin omega t. At the end of uh, one oscillation of the left end of the rope, the shape of the rope is as shown. A has uh, just received the vibration. C has received the vibration at t by 2 and has been oscillating for t by 2. B has received the vibration at 3t by 4 and has been oscillating for t by 4. D has received the oscillation at t by 4 and has been oscillating for 3t by 4. You can see a left-right reversal of the shape as the farther particles begin vibrating later. So the equation for the oscillations of the source is uh, say ys is equal to ym sin omega t.
source is the left end of the rope. A point P x away from the left end of the rope begins vibrating x by v later. The oscillations at P are identical to oscillations at O except that they have begun x by v later. So, the equation for the oscillations of particle P would be y P is uh, y m sin omega t minus x by v that is the oscillations of P and S differ by this x by v. The oscillations here have begun x by v later. Or you could also see the oscillations at P differing in uh, phase by x by lambda to 2 pi. Recall that for every lambda traveled by the wave, phase drops by 2 pi. So, a particle P x away from O has oscillations which have a difference in phase of x by lambda to 2 pi. So, you could write the equation for oscillations of P as uh, y P is y m sin omega t minus phi. The oscillations at P and oscillations at O have a phase difference of phi. So, you see wave as a moving vibration, vibrations at farther points uh, take place later. You could also look at the equation for the wave slightly differently. This graph represents the equation for a shape y is f x. x dash o dash y dash is another reference frame and we have an identical shape in the reference frame x dash o dash y dash. Since the x axis coincide to the equation for the oscillation is y dash is f x dash. The origin o dash and o are v t apart at time t. The origin o and o dash were coinciding at t equals 0 and they are now v t apart. The coordinate of p in the reference frame x o y is x equals v t plus x dash. The coordinate of p x dash that is the distance from o dash along the x axis would be v t plus x dash from the origin o. So, the equation for the shape which is moving can be got by writing y is y dash recall that uh, x axis coincide and uh, f x this x can be replaced by x minus v t. So, this equation represents the shape moving to the right at v. There is a shape moving in the past two direction past two x direction at v. If this is the oscillation at the left end of the rope, the corresponding shape would be this. Recall the left right reversal in the shape. The equation for this shape will be y is equal to minus y m sin k x, where k is uh, 2 pi by lambda. The shape repeats uh, every lambda. So, this k is a measure of the repetitivity of this function. For every lambda k x goes up by 2 pi. So, the equation for the moving shape then would be replace x by x minus v t. So, the equation would then be y is equal to minus y m sin k x minus v t. So, you can see the wave as a, a moving shape.